Hey everyone, Victoria here, and I got another short video um, from my buddy John. He gave us some stuff. Uh, we bought some stuff from him. He's just downsizing his layout, and um, yeah, we're gonna see what John gave us today. First of all, he gave us a couple cars. He is into weathering, so we got some uh, PPLX hoppers with colos and he did weather them. They are in really good condition and most of them have been upgraded. Their couplers have been upgraded. So I believe the first three have the same road number and then this one has a different road number. And then we got this nice Western Maryland caboose and these two cars that have been weathered and they're kind of, they're not, you know, they're undecorated. There isn't really anything to them, but they're in great condition. And then we got these hoppers. They just have road numbers. They were customized. Um, they'd be great yard fillers, Corey said to me. So I'm guessing that that would be true. And that's all of this rolling stock that I got from John this time. So we got some buildings. Um, he had this IHC drugstore and... It looks like everything is in here. Like all these parts are still like on the plastic. And it looks like every, the, sorry, the top piece closing, but it looks like everything's in there. So it's pretty cool. So if you want a drugstore. And then we got an interlocking tower. This was built and then taken apart and put in the box. So we got that. We got, I think this is IHC, yes. We got five high tension towers. And all those beautiful parts are in there. And then we got the power station IHC also. And all the amazing parts are in there. And then we got these. This is a bag. Just random parts of buildings and things. If you see anything in there you want, we'll give you a deal on it. And then Atlas Lumberyard. I'm gonna assume everything's in there, but we still have to look through it. But if you see something you want, let me know. And then we got two of these Pennsylvania girder bridges. And it's pretty cool, there's like little men in there. And I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's the dude over there. There he is. And there's another guy hanging out over there. So still gotta inspect everything, but there's more stuff from John. Actually found another freight car. This is an IHC Lehigh and New England uh, observation passenger car. This is really nice. It has extended trucks as well in top notch condition. And it has the seating inside. All right, we got more buildings, a lot of custom work done on these. So let's just start over here. This is a huge uh, coal, I don't know. Is it a coal building? It is huge. A lot of custom work was done to it to make it like, you know, look like it was, you know, it's a work building. So that is crazy. Let me try to pick this up. <laughs> I don't want to break anything. I think I'll pick it up from the bottom. So then you guys can see this a little better. Very cool. Sorry for the weird angle. It's in great condition and it was just, you know, made to look like it was a work building, you know? It's like custom. And then I believe this is something that goes with it. Another custom building. <laughs> and then these are all custom. They're like, they were tank HO cars and I believe they, t um, John took the trucks off of them and everything and made them like, they kind of look like propane tanks. So that's pretty cool. We got four of them, two black and two red. Then we got this thing, it actually says it's a Blue Coal Depot. And look at the custom work on this, guys. Seriously, so cool. I will flip it around so you can see all the sides of it. That detail. John, you do some good work. I know you watch these videos. 
We got another thing. I believe we got one of these from him before that had Colt in them. So that's cool. Another building, lots of custom detail on it. It looks so cool. Has a telephone pole on the back. Tamaqua Junction, it says there. We got another one of these cool things and it is over filled. It is overflowing with coal. So if you want, uh, you know, if you're doing something with coal and you want it to look like there's so much coal, especially here in Pennsylvania, if you're modeling Pennsylvania, that is cool. Got another, I believe this is like the coal would get dropped through there. I am no expert, but again, the detail is really good on that. Then we got a tower, some really cool weathering on that. And then we got this, really cool weathering on that. And that's a custom scratch build. Really cool. A lot of cool stuff from John this time. Thanks for watching this short video of what I got from John this time. Um, let me know if you want any of this stuff. You can shoot us an email. It will be below in the description. Otherwise, this will be tagged and be at our shop. So um, thanks so much for watching. And John informed me he has N-Scale stuff coming for us next time. So stay tuned for that. Um, oh, you know what? There's something else here. So these items did not come from John. But we just did a small trade with a guy. And, you know, I figured I'd show you these four things. So we got this, this is a Lionel, it's a Dodge Ram. It can hook up and be on the tracks. We got this Union Pacific locomotive. I'm unsure the brand, I'll get back to you on that if you're interested, hit us up if you're interested in that. We got this Lionel, it's a snow plow. Let me get the side of the box for you. It's a PRR snow plow. Um, from what we understand, this the rotary does work. And then this is really cool, this last piece. We got this awesome Mantua. It's Mantua Collectibles Edition, this Baltimore and Ohio steam engine. It comes in this fancy box with this big lid. Baltimore and Ohio. It's in stellar condition and it's beautiful. So if anyone's interested in any of these items yet, hit us up. Thanks again for watching everyone. That's everything from John, as I said before, and a few things from another guy that we got. If you want any of these items, you can email us. The My email will be in the description below. So thanks so much for watching and see you next time.